Okay, this is the Romer Ewing ring. I used a 2.2 ohm resistor on one side and a 15 ohm resistor on the other side. The rest of the ring is made up of copper, basically. Highly conducted and we can assume it has almost negligible resistance. Okay, the roidal transformer 372 millivolts of EMF. We can measure it by running the probes around the core. You might say this is a, the secondary of the transformer and the internal resistance of the voltmeter is the load. That's kind of right. This is what I measured when I opened the ring. All the voltage falls across the internal resistance of the voltmeter. That's the bigger one. Almost all the EMF is there. So now I have placed the ring with the two resistors around the transformer core. The ring is linking the EMF, a current is flowing, but of course the resistance of the copper portion between the probes is negligible, so I won't be able to see any voltage here. Just to be sure, here is the current measure in the ring. It's about 20 milliamps. I'm measuring the voltage across the smallest resistor, 48 millivolts. Yeah. Now I have placed two voltmeters across the very same two points, more or less, well, just because I couldn't fit the tips. Just the tip. And um, yeah, what do we read? 300, 314, 310, it's fluctuating on one, and 48 millivolts on the other one. This is just a little bit fluctuating, but two different voltages, it doesn't matter. Well, okay, now I'm coupling the AC with my hands. Okay. The shape of the loop is not important. 